Say goodbye to deformities, multiple fingers, blurry cityscapes, and weird-looking asymmetrical people. Leonardo AI is by far my favorite AI image app. I used to be considered great art until AI came around. That's okay. I had my time. But unfortunately, sometimes the awesome images I create sometimes look a little off. And that is where negative prompts come in. With this prompt I'm showing you today, you will no longer have that issue. Gone are the days of multiple fingers and all those blurry images you see. And that's because today I'll be sharing with you an awesome prompt that is going to work specifically for Leonardo AI to not only create amazing images for a multitude of different type of characteristics, but it's also going to provide you with a series of negative keywords to use every single time you make an image. And this prompt is actually a double generator. What do I mean by that? Because here's what it's going to do. You're first going to start by telling it what style of prompt you want it to create, like photorealistic, portrait, scenery, etc. Then you're going to provide a description of the type of image you want, like a lion in the jungle or a modern woman in a futuristic city. Then ChatGPT is going to ask you if you would like for it to provide you with a series of negative keywords to use in Leonardo AI's negative prompt box. All you have to do is say yes and then boom. Every Everything in one complete package. It's the complete prompt for the image you want to generate plus all of the negative keywords for it. That way you can finally avoid all of the deformities. So once you try this video, let me know what you were able to make with it. I love to hear about all of your creations, but let's get right to it and let me show you exactly how to use this prompt. Now make sure you watch the whole thing because you're going to want to make sure that you follow it step by step so you can ensure that the prompt works exactly the way it was intended and you get the image that you want. Okay, so here here is the full and complete prompt right here, but don't worry, at the end of my video, I'll show you exactly where you can get this prompt, that way you can just copy and paste it yourself and then not have to worry about memorizing all of this or pausing the video over and over again. But here's the prompt right here, so you could tell it is quite the long prompt, but nonetheless, don't worry about it because all you need to know is that ChatGPT knows exactly what to do. So just copy and paste this prompt exactly how it is and then watch this magic happen. So let's go back over to my prompt right here and I'm going to show you, watch, I'm going to go ahead and just copy this whole entire thing exactly how it is. Now copy it all the way down until the bottom to where it says, do you understand? Okay. That's important to keep in mind. Now, one thing that's important to keep in mind is that I added two prompt options right here at the bottom, because sometimes every now and then chat GPT will throw a different wrench into the prompt that it's giving you. So sometimes it might ask you for an additional piece of information. So anyhow, here's two prompt options in case you need it. So one is write the prompt out in a simpler format. The reason I say that is because Leonardo AI has a limit of a thousand characters per prompt and so sometimes chat GPT will generate prompts that are just way too long so I have this actual prompt generator set to not exceed the 1000 character limit and that's gonna be the prompt option number two and so if you did get a prompt and you actually want your prompt to be a little bit shorter just enter this as your follow-up write the prompt out in a simpler format Even since my last video on Leonardo AI, Leonardo has added even more featured models. Just look at all these new fine-tuned models you can create now. We have RPG version 5, Fable Diffusion 0.9, Dream Shaper Volume 7, and then over here, Anime Pastel Dream. I really suggest you trying out this prompt with a variation of all these different fine-tuned models. Okay, so now let's go over to ChatGPT and then paste this prompt in, okay? There's my long prompt. Now watch how impressive this is. So let's go ahead and hit the send message and check this out. Here at the bottom it says, yes, I understand your requirements. To get started, please provide me with the command for the prompt you'd like to generate. For example, you can use commands like slash person, slash scenery, etc. Now this is also very important to keep in mind. You want to make sure when you give ChatGPT your first command, you do need to make sure you're using that slash character. So for example, you'll say slash portrait slash person. If you don't use the slash before the actual command, ChatGPT will ask you more questions. So back over here to ChatGPT, make sure that you're going to use the slash command. So it says right here, here's the examples it's given you. Okay. So slash illustration or slash general. Once you provide the command, I will ask you for specific details about the prompt, and then I'll proceed to craft a masterful prompt for Leonardo AI based on your input. After that, if you want, I can also generate a list of corresponding negative prompt keywords. Let's begin. Please provide the command for your prompt. Okay, check this out. So the first thing I'll do down here at the bottom is let's just go ahead and go with a person. So hit the slash button and then just type in person. 
that's my command. After you type in that, hit the space bar, and now just type in anything you want. So in this case, I said woman hiking in the mountains. And then watch this, ChatGPT says, great choice. Here's your masterful Leonardo AI prompt for a woman hiking in the mountains. So it first starts to tell you the scene it's creating, the camera shot, camera lens, the style keywords, and then the negative prompt keywords, okay? So at the very bottom, it says, now let's put together a captivating prompt for Leonardo AI. And then here is our actual prompt right here. It says, within the stunning mountainscape of this high resolution 8K landscape, blah, 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 here's the prompt. Now we're gonna go ahead and copy this prompt and then now, that last paragraph, ChatGPT provides you with the final question. Would you like me to generate a list of negative prompt keywords to complement this prompt? If yes, please let me know and I'll proceed with that. There's only one thing you have to do. Just type in yes and then watch this magic happen. And then just like that, ChatGPT then provides me with all of the negative prompts. Here's a list of negative prompt keywords to avoid any elements that might make the image look distorted, unrealistic, or less appealing. Those keywords are specifically focused and centered around the first command that we gave it for a person. If I did another sort of type of command, like the next one, I'll do scenery, and then I ask for some negative keywords, those negative keywords are gonna be completely different from the ones it provided me for a person. Each set of negative keywords are specific to the type of command or the type of image you wanna create. So as we go back, now we have two things to copy. We have our final prompt right here to copy. That's gonna be our prompt image generator. And then the negative prompt keywords, okay? Okay, so now check this out. Let me give you an example of how ChatGPT sometimes has a little bit of a mind of its own. I did another one and I came down here and I said a person, woman at the beach. And then here's what ChatGPT provided me. ChatGPT then provided me with this very long prompt right here, which is fine, but that's that prompt is going to be too long. So the next thing you wanna do is make sure you utilize the prompt option number one I have listed. Now, remember that prompt option I listed over here? Prompt option number two, write the prompt out in a simpler format. So you can see, once I said that, once I said write the prompt out in a simpler format, here it is. Now here's the perfect prompt right here, okay? Capture a serene moment at the beach with a Nikon camera with a woman at the beach. Okay, we'll copy this one too. And then you can see, again, at the bottom, it says, let me know if there's anything more specific. So you could always add and modify the prompt. You could tell ChatGPT, make it better. You could tell ChatGPT, no, I don't like this one, give me another one. And then it says, additionally, if you like a list of negative prompts, I can provide that as well. And again, let's type in yes, hit enter, and then now we're gonna get our list of negative prompts. Okay, now boom, here's my first one. Check this one out on Leonardo AI. Here's the first one I made of a woman hiking throughout the mountains. Very good, very good. I got three different variations of images. Now let's copy this to go into the negative prompt section. So here's my main prompt up here, the image I wanna generate, a woman hiking within the mountains. And then my negative prompts, I will then simply paste in this box below. Now, in this case, for fine tuned model, I'll be using RPG 4.0, and then I'll just go ahead and do dynamic, and I'll try a few different variations to see what I can come up with. And then let's do the same exact thing, this time for the woman at the beach. So again, I'll copy this prompt from the woman at the beach, come back into Leonardo AI, and then paste it right here. And then for the negative prompt, Prompts. We want to come down here again and copy this negative prompt and this time I'll use RPG 4.0 and then photography hit generate Okay, now boom now check out this one over here with the happy woman at the beach. This is a very high quality portrait Great variations. I got three very good looking images of a woman at the beach. Very good. Now, with that said, let's go back up here and do one more of the woman hiking. Hit generate. And then now with a completely different fine tuned model, check out this one right here of the woman hiking in the mountains. Very good. And like I said before, you can get a completely different set and a completely different look of your images, all depending on the fine tuned model you create. And if you're using any of the alchemy presets right here, you'll get a completely different look and feel of an image. Let's go back over to chat GPT. Okay. Okay. Now this time I'm over here in GPT-4. So the first time we were using 3.5, let's go back over here in 4 and then paste that same exact prompt in. And so this time I'm going to say cityscapes, a futuristic city at night. Now here's something important to keep in mind. So the first two times we tried this, we had to tell ChatGPT to write this out in simpler format. One thing I did notice is that I have to do that more often in 3.5. However, when I do utilize ChatGPT version four, I don't have to do that. So that's something you definitely wanna keep in mind. So I'm using four. I don't have to tell ChatGPT to create the prompt in the simpler format. Just like that, you could see it gives me the prompt right away. And this definitely is less than 1000 characters, okay? 
So let's do the first step and go ahead and copy it. Here is a creative prompt. Envision a futuristic city at night brought to life with the hyper-realism of a Canon EOS R6 Mark II. Wide view of a 35mm lens. Okay, so it gave me the prompt. Then it asked me, would you like me to generate a list of negative prompt keywords? And, again, what we're going to do is just type in yes, and then here it goes. Now, if you look at the first set of keywords it gave us, you could see those are the ones specifically for a person. If I go back to the cityscape one, you could see that ChatGPT gave me a different variation of keywords because this one is specific for a cityscape. Let's go ahead and copy these right here. I'll go back over to Leonardo AI, and I have the actual prompt. And I have now the negative prompts right here, okay? And let's go ahead and change it up a little bit and go to, let's try a few different variations. Let's try Leonardo Diffusion. So while we wait, let me go ahead and show you what this exact prompt made for me a little bit earlier today. This is the futuristic city at night, and I asked for people in this one, but look at this right here. This is magnificent. Now coming back over here to Leonardo AI, now check out these futuristic cities. These are quite amazing. Now these were all made with different fine-tuned models and different alchemy presets, but this one right here was made with RPG V5 Dynamic. This is definitely a futuristic city with the flying type of plane or, or something like that. Awesome. And then this one's very cool too. Look at this. Futuristic city and it even gave me a bonus, a bonus futuristic neon supercar. Very cool. Then of course we have these over here. And then again, these over here with different fine-tuned models. All very good. So now let me go ahead. I'll just do one more to show you guys. This time I'm going to do a portrait and I just did a cute puppy. And then just like that, it's creating the prompt for me. And again, like I said, this is on GPT-4 and then this one is just going to give me the prompt right away without me having to tell it to write it in a simpler format. So here we go. Just like this, let's go ahead and copy the prompt it gave us. And then again, it's going to ask for negative prompts. Go ahead and say yes. And then there we go. So while we're doing that, let's come back over here and paste in the prompt for this cute puppy. Here are the negative keywords you might want to avoid. So again, let's come down here and we can copy that out. We'll enter that into the negative prompt. And for my fine-tuned model, we'll try a few different variations. I'll start with this cute animal character. So okay, here is the first one we got right here. And then check out the second set right here. And then again, from earlier today, I actually made this one right here. This is an anime portrait of a cute puppy. And then going back over here to the rest of these, you could see these final three rows right here that it made for me. We have Absolute Reality. We have another Leonardo Diffusion, but with photography preset. And then here's the one from General earlier. So again, like I said before, all very good variations. So like I said earlier, in order to get this prompt right here, I know it's a long one. There's actually a link in my description. Click that link in my description, and then you can just copy and paste this prompt and use it however you want to. So remember, it's going to be a different variation depending on if you use ChatGPT 3.5 or ChatGPT 4, but nonetheless, it's going to work pretty well each time you use it. So thank you so much for watching this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Perfect.